I don't know about you guys, but my Walmart is running out of ammo. Uh, at least inexpensive ammo. All the bulk ammo is gone, basically. This is the last box of 22 of any uh, amount. This is uh, 375 rounds for $26. That was kind of hot after tax. And uh, I don't know if it's just some bullshit marketing. Optimize AR type platforms. Yeah, okay. They did have some interesting information on this side. You can freeze the frame and look at it if you want. But uh, I haven't used this. You know, I've had uh, a lot of good results with CCI in general. It seems to be quality ammo. So here's some CCI bulk, which I've never bought before. Let's take a look. Get this thing open. Lucky. Any time now. There we go. It don't look no different than any of the others. It's just, I mean, if I were to compare this to the federal bulk, I'd say it's just about identical looking to me. I mean, except for the C on the back. Uh, copper plated, 40 grain, 1,200 feet per second. I mean, it's about the same as most bulk ammo. It could be that this is, you know, assembled a little better. I've noticed like on the uh, M22 you can wiggle the bullet right out of the shell no problem. I mean the, the fit between the casing and the, and the lead slug is very loose on the M22. You could just wiggle them out by finger. This feels a lot sturdier. And maybe it does have a slightly different shape. I've noticed it is a little round a little step on it. It's got three little uh, Grooves might help with the compression. I don't know. We'll see how it runs out of the uh, Smith & Wesson 22A1. Hey guys, I wanted to show you some ammo that I really like. I just found this at Walmart. They're out of just about everything, so I wouldn't normally buy this because it's kind of expensive. It's about 26 bucks a box for 375 shots. This is CCI. They call it AR Tactical. 40 grain, 1200 foot per second, but it seems to be a very high quality round. The uh, the lead is uh, in the shell casing very firmly, unlike some cheaper brands where you can just about pull it out with your fingers. And I've got some targets set up over here, different size targets, to demonstrate some of the ballistic impact of it. And I'll be using my Smith & Wesson 22A1 here. Alright, without any further ado, let's go ahead and pop some of these. So here you got a can of spinach here, so let's see how it goes through that steel can and pops the spinach. Say it popped it pretty good, huh? Here's the water bottle. We'll hit it center of mass. Here's a bigger bottle. Okay. And here's a bigger bottle. And here's the biggest bottle. Busted it right open. Apparently the oil bottle is made of the nicest plastic, huh? <laughs> So uh, let's run over there real quick and see what the uh, spinach can looks like. That's the one I think that will tell us the most. You saw it just pop right up in the air. Yeah. Okay. Complete penetration all the way through it. Got a little spinach leaking out of it. That's good. We can use it again, huh? Alright, obviously, once again, complete penetration, good hydraulic shock on it, penetration as you can see, out both sides. Alright, let's continue looking at these. Camera ran out of battery, had to charge it real quick. So here's a typical type soda type bottle, you can see good penetration, you can see the hydraulic shock, popped it up in the air pretty good. Nice clean entry exit holes. You know, I see people use milk jugs a lot to test, you know, hydraulic effect. And uh, you can see the milk jugs are absolute crap plastic. So, you know, when see people see a milk jug bust in half and go, woohoo, you know, I mean, this is a single shot from a 40 grain 22. And it ripped it in two places. And uh, good penetration all the way through. So, 
I wouldn't say milk jugs are really good for testing hydraulics on stuff. And uh, I was reviewing the video and I realized I didn't get a good shot of the spinach can. So, as you can see, this is the entry hole, this is the exit hole, blew some spinach out of it, deformed the can somewhat, uh, bulged the bottom out a little bit. And I would say probably uh, out of all of these, the one that has the most durable plastic apparently is this one. So, you know, those are the exit holes. Uh, looks like, you no, know, it split the bottle there, but in general didn't split it at all uh, compared to the other, so, especially compared to the milk jug. But yeah, uh, the upshot is, is I think that uh, the CCI ammo is superior to most of the ammo you can get out there. I, I've really liked all of the CCI I've tried, and, uh, you know, I just think they use quality components and they assemble it uh, carefully. And it runs through my gun really well. Uh, it doesn't seem to have an, uh, an excessive amount of uh, recoil. It's not like a Velocitor or something that's moving out at 1400 plus. This is just 1200 feet per second. Uh, but the, uh, the, the shape of the, the uh, bullet uh, feeds nicely and uh, it seems to fire reliably. And I've got a yellow jacket crawling on me. That's pretty awesome, huh? How often do you get to see yellow jackets just crawling all over you? <laughs> Don't be afraid of insects, guys. We're bigger than they are. <laughs>